So let's talk about the T's exam, specifically the math section. And the T's exam is an exam that you have to take to go to nursing school. So what I have for you in this video is a practice problem that uh, you should be able to do without a calculator if you are fully prepared for the T's exam. So I'll show you that problem and the solution in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help uh, learning all the math that's going to be on the T's exam, I have a fantastic T's math test prep course. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this question right now. So without using a calculator, let's see if you can answer this. Go ahead and put your answers into the comment section. So we want to write a decimal and a fraction that is equivalent to 750%. Okay, so once again, we want to write a decimal and a fraction equivalent to 750%. So let's take a look at the problem again. It says write a decimal and a fraction that's equivalent. Okay, now what's this word mean? It means mathematically the value is equal to 750%. Okay, so let's go ahead and first uh, uh, talk about how to go from a percent to a decimal. All right, so how do we change a percent to a decimal? Well, it's very, very easy. All we need to do is take this percent and divide it by 100. Uh, now, that is the same thing as moving the decimal point over two places to the left. Okay, so when you're going to, uh, from a percent to a decimal, all we need to do, again, is divide by 100. And if you don't want to divide by 100, if you know where the decimal point's at, just scoot that thing over two places to the left. That's what happens when you divide by 100. Okay, so let's take a look at 750%. We'll go ahead and divide 750 by 100, and when you take 750 and you divide it by 100, you end up with 7.5, okay? Pretty straightforward stuff, but let's suppose you didn't want to think of it in this way. Most uh, students don't, you know, you're not really taught to divide by 100. Yes, you're taught that that is how to go from a percent to a decimal, but most of us say, oh yeah, I got to move the decimal point over, but just remember, moving the decimal point over two places to the left is the result of dividing by 100. So let's go ahead and uh, do the same thing, go from a percent to a decimal. But what we have to first do is uh, first do here is identify where the decimal point's at. So you're like, well, 750%, I don't see the decimal point, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, listen, if I gave you the number seven, where is the decimal point? Well, you can write this more accurately, 7.0. Right, so here I've um, kind of used a place value and some decimals. So the decimal point is located here. So for 750 percent, it's the same thing as 750.0. Uh, so right here is the uh, location of the decimal point. So from there, what you're going to do is scoot that thing over two places to the left. So here's one, and here's two, and you can see it. It's going to land right there at 7.5. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about uh, decimals to fractions. So we know that 750% uh, is the same thing as 7.5. So we don't necessarily have to go from a percent to a fraction. We already have the decimal equivalent of 750%, uh, right? So we already have that as a decimal, 7.5. So we can just take that decimal and uh, write an equivalent fraction. Okay, so 7.5, this is the same thing as 7 plus 0.5. And when it comes to um, some decimals, okay, you should know their fraction equivalent. So here are some real basic ones, right? So like 0.5, hopefully, you know, that's a, uh, equivalent to the fraction one half, right? Like 0.25 would be what fr uh, fraction? Hopefully you said, oh, that's one fourth and 0.75 is the fraction three four so these are some examples of uh, decimals you should know uh, their fraction equivalent now how to write a decimal let's say like uh, 0.371 as a fraction 
Well, that's not all that uh, not all that difficult, but it involves place value. Uh, but in this particular problem, we're not going to kind of get into that. We'll just kind of stick with this. So 7.5 is equal to 7 plus 0.5, and 0.5, again, is the same thing as a fraction one-half. So this is uh, 7 plus one-half, or 7 and one-half. Okay, so we can write this as the mixed number. No need to have to write this as uh, 15 halves. In other words, some of you out there have been trained, okay, by some of your math teachers uh, that you always, always have to take this mixed number and write it uh, as an improper fraction. In other words, seven to one half, you kind of like, oh, I got to take this step. This is not okay. Take two, multiply by seven. That's 14 plus one. That's 15 halves. The, these two are, of course, equivalent, okay? This is an improper fraction, and this is a mixed number fraction, right? So I'm going to encourage you do, do not go from a mixed number to an improper or an improper to a mixed number unless you're told to uh, because when you uh, make these transitions, okay, you can make a little error. So I hope this video helped you out. But remember, there is a lot of math that you need to know to be fully ready for the TEAS exam. So make sure to check out my full TEAS math test prep course. It is very uh, comprehensive and easy to follow. So you can find a link to that in the description of this video. All right. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your nursing adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.